Oh, snap. What's that you got on? Yo, these are new r ones by Randy. I'm in the future with this. I'm stepping on top of the world. These are the new R. Ones by Rampage. Order right now. Land to land, C to C, state to state. These are official. Don't wait. The R. Ones by Rampage. Rated R Empire. Hey, go into the description box right now and get your Rated R Empire sneakers right now. And when you cop your pair, let them know that Sandman and Old Guy from the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast sent you. All right, you guys see the title, and I am going to do a few people dare to do. I'm going to eat crow. I had it wrong. And I, obviously it's early, but I'm going to give NBA Youngboy his props because he just put out a song, you know, with him standing there, and it says stop the violence with, like, a heart, you know, drawn at the bottom. Look like he's in his crib or something. And, um, you know... This comes on the heels of, uh, you know, me, me making a video calling him a hypocrite or asking the question, was he a hypocrite for, you know, telling people to stop the violence by continuing to promote and glorify and rap about violence and things that he, you know, went through or was going through at a point in time in his city and around his city. And I get it, man. You know, I'm not, you know, one of those people that, you know, I can understand. I understand the plight. I understand, you know, what's going on and why why he's doing what he's doing, right? He's made a fortune doing it. I'm never a hater or anything like that. I want the young man to be successful. But in my last video, I said, all right, what's going to be the next follow-up? Like, And I don't expect him to just turn and flip and everything about to be positive. No. But he put the song out two hours ago and it got 200,000 views. So it goes to show you, once again, that... No matter what message you put out, it's influential. It's going to move people. Just go back to when hip-hop was first getting started and how positive it was and how the message was more of a liberating message and how that moved people. But then, you know, once the frequency changed and it changed to a different type of hip-hop and they were talking about different things being glorified and pushed, it's a difference between being glorified and talked about artfully, right? But things being glorified and pushed like it's the thing to do, the thing to do or the thing to be, people started emulating and people that don't have, you know, the, the proper role models and guidance began to emulate and copy what they heard their favorite rapper saying, wearing, doing, drinking, smoking, all that, period. So we always talk about that because it's real. I know how I was influenced by certain rappers, Right. At a younger age. And if I didn't have the the, the, the the village, the mom, the grandfather, all the aunties, the big brother, the cousins, you know, the sisters, the whole family unit to, you know, put my ass in check, I would have probably been a statistic out in the street, in prison, and all of that, right? Probably could have been rapping about all the shit I was doing in the street, all of that. But, yeah. But somebody who don't have that structure, that village, and they raised by the streets. And they got to listen to a Dirk or an NBA young boy or whoever, you know, coming up. They're susceptible to fall to that. It's not an excuse. But they're susceptible to fall to that and think that's the way to go. Because the music, music gives them comfort. And what people don't understand is not only affecting you consciously, it's affecting you subconsciously as well. So you begin to act things out and you don't even know why. But that's a whole other topic for a whole nother day to subconscious mind, right? So I give him props. I give the young brother props. Again, I don't expect this to be a trend for him. But if he could sprinkle him in there. Remember back in the day, like, you would get your one song or two songs where they would talk about Jesus the Lord, and then they would talk about, you know, something positive or a love song, right? That's not everything is gangster this, gangster that. Smoke this, pop that, blah, 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 cop money this. Nah, switch it out. Let people know. And hopefully, here's my real hope, that he has made the change him doing a little bit of time in jail, him now being able to sit in the crib on the house arrest and kind of see things for what they are, realizing how blessed that he is, realizing that he has the opportunity of a lifetime, and realizing that, yeah, it could possibly be blood on his hands if he continues doing what he's doing with his music, right? But I salute him, I commend him, man, because, hey, man, I'm with it, like, if hip hop would have changed and be on a positive frequency, if people started rapping about positive things, I'm with that. 
Obviously, there's rappers out there, but that's not being pushed at this point in time. And we love our ratchet stuff, too. Like, I'm going to be honest. Sometimes I want to hear my ratchet stuff, you know, whatever. But I'm not influenced. I'm not influenced like, I, like a young or a kid that's growing up, you know, um, not privileged in, in different circumstances. I'm grown now. So it's a little doc. I can sit up there and listen to a guy talking about killing somebody and not want to go kill somebody. I could do that. I could listen to a guy talking about sip lean. I don't want to go sip no lean. You feel me? Shout out to NBA Young Boy. I hope this is a star. I hope this motivates the minds of young men. The men that might hear them, like, oh, snap. Like, he was talking. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, I can do it. Oh, I ain't really got to be in the street. I can go get my GED. I can go start my business. Because one thing's for sure and one thing's for certain, man. I've, since I've probably been like 17, been in business. When I had my detailing business, I knew drug dealers. I knew corner boys, stick-up kids, pimps, all that. And none of them wanted to do what they was doing. They was doing that as a means to an end. And they will always be looking to go legit. Every single person. Yo, dog, I need to work. I'm on probation. Hey, dog, how you doing? What you doing? I remember this one story. You probably, guys probably heard it before. My homie. One of my homies. You know, he wasn't really a homie. He was my homie's homie. But, you know, he was a little bit younger. You know what I mean? He worked with me for a while. He was probably like 15, 16 at the time. Seen him like two years ago at a football game. He ain't recognized me at first. When I told him who I was, he's like, oh, he's like, yo, man, I've been meaning to tell you, dog. Like, me seeing you do that, you know, running your own business at like 22, 23 years old, the way you did, it showed me that a young black, you know what, can make something of itself in a positive light. I ain't got to sell this. I ain't got to sell dope. I ain't got to sell this. I could do something positively. And it ain't easy. Right? It's not easy. It's going to be bumps and this and that. But shit, if you can sell dope to fiends and crack and all that, you can start your own business. A lot of the times these guys already got the skill sets already there. The sales, the marketing, the grinding part, right? The accounting, all of that is already there. You know, when you when you meet guys, you got to tell, you know, one person. A lot of times the product is going to speak for itself, but sometimes, sometimes you got to tell them, like, oh, your dog, let, let so-and-so know. You know, anybody else, I got that. Let so-and-so know, I got that. Hey, yo, dog, you need, yo, I got, you feel me? So, it, you know, now you're marketing. Same thing with your business. Same exact thing, man. You know, you get your product. You want to have the best product for the cheapest price. You feel me? So it's a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot that translates. But a lot of times people just need to be shown the way. So if a rapper, if people who got the ears of the young kids, the youth, can show them a better way, I'm with it. Shout out to NBA Young Boy, man. I stand corrected. It's your brother, Old God Man. The website is hiphopun.com. That's hiphop, the letter UN.com. I'm out, over and out. Leave a comment what you think.